Hi there you, my beading friends! I'm going to show you today how to make this brick stitch long wavy earrings. I'm showing this step by step, so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Even if you are not familiar with the famous brick stitch that I'm using here, consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way you help me so much. A lot of work goes in this tutorial, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay, guys, so what I'm using for this video here are four colors of 11 ounce seed beads. I'm also using earring findings, liver bags, you could use others of your choice. I'm experimenting with different nylon threads. Now I'm using this one from Spark Beads, but you could use Nymo or Neil Bond or other beading threads that you like, and you could also use Fireline if you prefer. This is size 11 beading needle. You could do it with size 12. Also, these are scissors and these are flat nose pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and later I will show you how to add more thread. And now let's get started. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four black and four purple beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat. And what I want to do now is go through these four black beads and I will pull. Now I have two rows of four beads next to each other and what I want to do is to reinforce this. How I do this? I go through those four beads one more time. In my next step, guys, as I'm exiting from these four purple beads, I take four more black beads and I go back in circle through these four purples. I'm just creating here in this row columns of four beads. Then it comes the turquoise color. I do the same thing and because my thread is really thin I would like to reinforce from time to time. Then again, four black ones. Four pink. Okay, four more pink. Then I take black again. And now guys, I will repeat what I have here, but from this side. Okay, and these are the last four black beads. 
that I'm adding in this row. And I must confess, guys, that I took a really, really short piece of thread, not an arm span, as I said. And I will show you at this step how to cut it and add a new thread. Maybe you will need to do this later if you took longer thread. But anyways, the steps are absolutely the same. So this is my short thread that I have. You see, it's not enough to continue. That is why... I want to make here between some of the beads a loop. I will go twice through the loop I've made. I'm pulling. Now I will put back my needle that uh, was accidentally dropped out. Okay, and I put it back off camera. And now what I want to do is to go through some beads here in this direction and to cut this tail thread. Of course, you could make one more knot and then go through some beads and cut it. Okay, now I will take a new thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, I have a new longer thread here on my needle. Maybe you will need to do this step later in the project if you took thread that is longer than mine. But I did this now. So I will go through some beads because I want to attach it. Okay. So I'm going here through two beads. And what I want to do now is choose a place between two beads. And here I need to make a knot by making a loop going twice through the loop you've made. Now, you must be sure that this loop is between the two beads where you started the knot from and then pull. Not before that because it will look like a mess when you pull. Okay? So uh, now I have my new thread attached. Now I will continue with a single brick stitch, guys. If you're not familiar, don't worry, I'm showing it really easy. And because in the next row I will have less beads than in the previous row, what I do here, you see these thread bridges that I have, thread bridges everywhere. I will use here the second one because I decrease. So in the next row, I will have less beads. That is why I go in the second, not in the first one. But don't worry remembering this for now. If you don't know it, uh, I will show it step by step. So I'm sure you will be able to make it. Okay, then I go through the bead that is closer to the center, the purple bead, okay? Then I go through the black one. And then I go through the purple one. One more time, I'm reinforcing because my beads stretch as they go through the second thread bridge and I need to make them stay nice and tight next to each other. And from now on, guys, I'm going to be adding my beads one by one. Now I need to add a black one. I'm adding a turquoise one. A pink one. Now I will repeat what I have here, but the other way around.
Okay, my friends, and I take a black and a purple again. And you see the thread bridges that I mentioned. I go through the second one between the purple and the black because again I decrease, I add less beads in the next row. So I need to add, so I need to go through the second thread bridge, okay? And again I reinforce like I have shown you before. Now continue the same way. Here in the center, the pink one disappears and I add two black beads instead. And then, as always, from the center and on, I repeat this one, but the other way around. Okay, now I will make another row, the third row of single brick stitch. Okay, I take again black and purple and again I go through the second thread bridge as I did before. Then through the purple one which is closer to the center and I reinforce. And I continue this, uh, it is the same like the previous row, only here in the middle I have one black instead of two. And I'm starting my row with four black and four purple beads. And by the way, guys, I showed you in my previous tutorials single, double and triple brick stitch. And now it's time to show you a quadruple brick stitch. But don't worry if you are a beginner and you don't know anything about these names. I will show it really slowly. Okay, so I'm exiting out of this black one and I want to go through the second thread bridge as always because I will decrease the next row will be shorter okay so this time I take four black and four purple and I go through the purple here the one that is closer to the center of my work okay and then I will reinforce maybe now you know why I call this this stitch quadruple because each row, each column, more like each column, consists of 
consists of four beads instead of one, two or three. I want my next column to consist of four black beads, so I take four and I go under the next thread bridge. It's similar to the columns that I did here, but now I'm doing it with brick stitch. Okay, and for turquoise in my next step. Four more turquoise. The black color in the middle disappears. Four black. Four purple. And four black beads. Okay guys, now I have this and now I will make three rows of single brick stitch. Again I decrease, go under the second thread bridge. And I will continue the same way as I did before. Start another row. Again decreasing and going through the second thread bridge. And the last decreasing row with single brick stitch. Okay guys, and I'm starting another row with quadruple brick stitch, okay? Then I, st I started with four black and four purple beads. I go under the second thread bridge here. Then I go through the four beads that are closer to the center of my work. I pull. And I want to reinforce. Four purple. And 
and four black beads. Now I take a black and a purple and as I'm exiting from this black I go through the second thread bridge which is the middle one. Then I go through this purple here. And I will reinforce. Then I take another black bead. Okay, now I have this. Okay, and I take two black beads. I go here under the second thread bridge that I have and go in this black one. Okay. And I'm going to reinforce this. Then I'm going to take my earring finding and attach it here. Okay. After I reinforce, I want to go through all of those beads in this direction. Don't pull too tight when you go to the side. We don't want these to bend strangely, just gently place the thread through them. Okay, now here what I want to do is to make a knot with this tail thread and this main thread. Okay, I'm making knots just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And now guys, what I want to do is just get rid of this tail thread here and I'm going to start absolutely the same thing that I showed you from this side. Okay, you could watch this pattern and do this or you could rewind the video to this part uh, from here where I'm showing this and repeat it. Like imagine that this is the first row that you did and now you should repeat all of this here. Just rewind the, vid the video up to this part where I did only the first row and continue and I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have. I hope you rewind the video and did this and here I need to add just one bead at the edge. Then I will go through some beads in this direction and I will make some knots and I will cut my thread. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now my wavy brick stitch seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button if you still haven't. And for all of you, please subscribe, share and comment. This helps me so much. If you want, you could also support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.